into this world knowing only life. Yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Hello and welcome. The location we are investigating tonight has a fascinating history spanning more than 200 years of triumphs and tragedy, of bitter disputes and fights resulting in the murder of three miners and a widow's curse that is said to remain to this very day. Magpie Mines is one of the top industrial heritage sites in Derbyshire and it was the last working lead mine in this area and it's probably the best surviving example anywhere in the UK of a 19th century mine. It dates back to 1740 and eventually ceased production in 1954 but during this time it racked up a tremendous amount of troubling events. During the 1820s and 30s, there were serious disputes between the miners of Magpie and the nearby Maypits over the rights to work the Great Red Soil Vein. And in 1833, Magpie miners set a fire within the mine which suffocated three Red Soil miners. It reopened in 1839, and it seems that spirits of the deceased miners may have objected to this, because from that moment on, the haunting activity began. Miners would report the smell of smoke and fearing for a repeat of history would flee to the safety above ground to avoid being suffocated. A lone miner has been seen moving around this area but disappears when he reaches this shaft. Is this one of the doomed miners still reporting for work? Walkers have been pelted by objects late at night as they approach the mine. Is someone trying to keep them away or protect them from an unseen danger? With over 200 years of history to dig through, will we uncover even more mysteries tonight? Let's hope we get to the bottom of it and the ghosts don't mind. Couldn't have picked a better night for it. Perfect storm regarding the fact we've got very low cloud level. It's wet, it's cold, it's April and supposed to be spring. A lot of history here, tragedy as well, and a curse, which always makes things a little bit more interesting. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can capture tonight. Uh, we've had sounds of voices, raised argument sounds, um, lights in the distance, which just don't seem to have been attached to anything. Uh, and people have reported having things thrown at them at night when they've been walking here because this is a good place for ramblers and what have you. Um, so there's a lot going on. I'm really excited to get into this. As you know, I like outdoor locations and then I hate outdoor locations. This isn't the best night for it, but it could also be the best night for some activity. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck in there and seeing what happens. I mean, I'm, I'm stood on one of the shafts where the miners would have gone down and the smoke would have come out and people died down here. I'm feeling a bit weird, it's just stood here. Tonight, I, I think we're gonna be in for some weird experiences. We've already heard weird EVPs around this place. No one's here. I'm feeling, and I'm gonna suggest that when the investigation starts, there's gonna be potentially miners here, but maybe there's something to this curse that happened. 
that the, the widows put on this place. Maybe this place is cursed ground and that's what people here are, are experiencing when they're coming around this location and feeling the energy and hearing things, things are being thrown at them. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe there's more to this story that people don't know about and there's definitely ghosts that are here or there's something nasty, something different is here, conjured by the curse. I think that's what's going on. Something that's been placed here that wasn't here. So we are um, here at this beautiful place, um, Magpie Mines. We're gonna set up some equipment, we're gonna split off, and uh, I'm gonna start investigating these areas down at the bottom. Paul's gonna investigate up uh, that side, and then we'll see if we can interact with some of the spirits. I wanna put a field pole that I should put something over here. <laughs> by the, it's very, very foggy. Um, by this, yeah, this is part of, you know, where these people were going down the shaft. This is where they were working. I want to put some here. Uh, so we put the rems in bags because <coughs> it's very, very damp out here. And we don't want to get them damaged. No. So the bags won't interfere what's going on because the aerials are still protruding from the bag. That's one out. Where do you want the other one, mate? Um, put it on the steps. There's some steps just over here. That's me, I think. I'm just going to switch this off and back on. So we stick the next one over here. It's completely out of the way. That's settled? Yep. Okay. Cool. Now, have mine. you got some tissue? Yeah. Because if this lens steams up, at least I can de 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 Grab a bit of that and rip. Got it, ready? <laughs> and that's how we roll on Ghost Dimension. Right. Technical geniuses. Right, I mean, I don't know, can we see how thick this is? Look at this. That's how thick the fog is. You can actually see it with the torches. What happened? Do you hear that rumble? Yeah. And again then? That's what I heard before. You heard that before? Yeah. Just stand here for a sec. Let's just shine this around and prove there's nothing here. It's just thick with fog. Is anybody here? Has anybody joined us? Watching us? Any spirit miners? That used to work here? Are you here? Sounds like thunder, but... This is not a stormy night. I mean, we've got low cloud, but it's not storm weather. No. But that sounded like the rumble of thunder. In fact, what I heard before, what I thought it sounded like was bloody guns or artillery. Yeah, you, you did say that before, yeah. earlier. Okay. Right. Right. You've got your radio. got my radio. Okay. I've got my torch. I've got a bit of light on there just because it is that pitch black. You've got your holy water and your I've garlic. Got my holy water, cross. my garlic. Yeah, steak. A steak, and yeah. Chips. A steak and chips. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. See you in a bit, mate. I'll see you in a bit, Paul. Good luck. Good luck. I've also got over here a K2 meter, which is there. I'll switch the bugger on. It will work better. What I want to do to start this investigation. I don't know if we can see in the distance over here. There is, there is somewhere a, um, a big, God, where is it? Chimney. I can hear noises. Paul's on his way now. I can hear. Still here. I've just been messing with my camera. I'm going now. There's a big, there's a noise coming, like a knock, knock. Maybe that is connected to the, Mine, I don't know, but here there's a big chimney. We can't see it on the camera right now because of the fog. Maybe we can point that. 
that's it again. Here we go. It's just going to come into vision. Maybe I can brighten it up. Wow, that's how thick the fog is. But there it is. All the way to the top. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. I've just heard a very loud bang and I'm not sure if I caught it just as I was moving away. So I'm going to just have a walk over here. Still trying to see where I'm going. Very, uh, very dark. This is one hell of an eerie place. Doesn't help when you've got really, really loud, clo low cloud cover. And I'm just going to show you in front of me. As you can see, that's the, the beam from my torch. But it's very, very misty. So I can't even see myself at the moment. There we go, hello. It's me! Surprise! Now there's a building over here somewhere. I can't see the bloody thing because I just can't see. I'm trying to get to it and this is where the gunpowder was stored apparently. It's a circular building. There it is. I see it now. I'll turn it, see if you can see. A circular building off in the distance. So that's where the gunpowder was stored apparently. So we're going to give that a little, uh, a little jibby go, see if there's anything going on there. Is there anybody here? Can you come forward? Can you come and communicate with me? Let me know you're here. If that was your voice I heard earlier. Speak to me again. Make that noise again. Did you die here? Are you one of the three miners I heard? Is it your voice I heard? You come towards me. I have a meter here called a K2 meter. If you come towards it, it's got lights on it and they will flash and they will change colour. Come and speak to me, come and communicate with me. Okay, so we now have two remnants out. I'm going to turn the torch off. So Ooh, that is not the torch that did that, because the torch is battery operated. Thank you. Can you tell me? Oh, very good, thank you. This is a, a good start, isn't it? Stick the IR flood on a bit. Are you uh, one of the miners that died um, from... May pits. One of the miners that suffocated. Is that you? It's a bit bright. My name's Paul. I'm not here to harm you. Just want to find out who you are. My name is Sean. I'm a paranormal investigator. I'm not here to harm you. On this sign it says this chimney was built by John Taylor and he was a mining engineer um, and he built this. Maybe this John is connected here and is still visiting this chimney. John are you here? John? Is your spirit still residing here? Do you know what happened? When there was a fire? It sounded like um, someone was moving around. And this is me moving. As well as it being very um, foggy. It's very cold. Okay. I heard that. 
That's, that happens here, doesn't it? You throw objects at people. Did you throw an object at me then? Did you? Are you trying to warn me away from this place? Is this place dangerous? Have you been summoned here by the curse that the miners' widows placed? Or are you one of the people that caused the fire? It's just pure fog out here. Yes, mate. Go ahead. Are you are you sensing anything? Is anything happening over there? Uh, just as I put one of the REMs out, it went off. Uh, the other one's going off at the moment, but I think my radio set that off. But it's really quite eerie. Okay, okay. I'm sure something got thrown at me. Before. Well, when I left you. Um, I heard a, a, a bang like pallets clattering. Um, and I shouted to you to see if it was you, but I don't think you heard me, but it was a really loud bang. Right, okay. That's really, really weird. Okay, let, let's keep this going, let's see what happens. Okay, mate, be safe. So, Sean's getting some stuff. I'm just going to have to reset that because I think the radio set it off. So. There's a really, really eerie feel to this. Can you... Okay, that is not the radio. That is not the radio setting that off and there is absolutely nothing shine a light. I just felt somebody coming through that door for a doorway then. Okay, this I'm now feeling wasn't such a good idea to stand in here because I feel somewhat cornered. Yeah, this this is not this is not a good idea to be stood in here, but I'm gonna stand my ground. That's a really, really eerie feeling. Sean is about uh, four or five hundred yards away from me. I can't even show you the building. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can put the IR illuminator on. So uh, you can't even see through the the dense fog, but the uh, the rest of the mine, the main structure is just over there, and on the other side of it is where Sean is. Oh, there we go again. There's nothing here. There's no power cables at all. There's nothing to be setting that off. And I'm not close enough to do that. Thank you. Step away from it, please. Please step away from that. Come and set the one off at the door. Oh, it's a really, really, really weird feeling in here. Incredibly ominous feeling. But I do not feel like I'm alone in here at the moment. So the REM's going off there for no reason. The the REM there went off a few moments ago and it felt like somebody walked through that. Okay that was that was the radio, but nothing came through, just static. So I don't know whether Sean just keyed up then or not. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. <sighs> it's cold. And I'm going to move over and investigate the horizontal flute. Now this goes straight down, and it, we checked it out a bit earlier, and when you go down there, um, there's like, we well, can't go down. 
these steps they that the miners would have used to, to have come up this flute. Now it's really hard for me to navigate and talk. So what I'll do, because I can't see a bloody thing. Whoa Jesus, what the hell was that? It was a light then. I sure I'm sure I just saw a light in this fog. Where the heck am I? There's a flute around here somewhere. There's a building there. And there's a flute. Ah, yeah, yeah. Look, these are mining tunnels that people would have used. Or they would have been used for something, maybe the ventilation. Okay. There's a flute. Tell you what's really weird. It's gone very, very quiet. I'm going to stand on this flute, which is just here. I'm going to get the K2 out. I'm going to put that on the floor next to the flute. So the K2's out. The flute is there. It's gone very calm. It's a bit freaky. And I'm not sure that I like being stood here on my own. Is there any miners here? Can you come forward? Can you come and communicate with me? Speak to me, please. I know there's somebody here haunting here. I don't know who you are, but can you come forward? Are you down there? Is there anybody down there? Come on, come forward. Come towards me. I've got a K2 meter. We'll go towards one of the objects over there. Where they are, they oh, have yeah, no idea. Just gonna, I'm not feeling comfortable. I'm really feeling a bit agitated. It does not feel like I'm alone in here at all. Such a bad feeling about this. Oh yeah, lots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So something's not right here, Paul. I shouldn't be on my own. Oh, I'm feeling the same. Something's not right here. Uh, the REM's going absolutely bananas and I'm hearing voices. Again, I think that's the radio. Paul, Paul, Paul. Right. Where are you? I'm, uh, I'm in the, the gunpowder bit. Right. Make your way to the um, to the centerpiece. Yeah. To the left. Paul, make your way to the left. Make me way to see how Sean's doing because he sounded a bit panicked. I knew there was somebody following me. Paul, is someone following me? It's me! Something's not right, Paul.
This is freaking weird. The camera caught, then I switched it on, it was in colour, then there was weird noise, I came upstairs just there, and uh, let me turn this brightness down. I came upstairs just over there, and as I came up the stairs, the rem went off. Who the hell is that now? The rem went off, and uh, that's Paul, and then straight away, Somebody followed me up the stairs and then I went, but uh, but uh, yeah, two people yeah. must have followed me up the stairs. Right. The rem went off yeah. as I walked past. And then it went off twice. Right. As if somebody else was walking past. Oh. I also felt somebody. I was stood on top of the shaft. Somebody people were surrounding me. Right. Yeah. They were coming towards me and I don't know what the hell it was. Yeah. But there was definitely someone here. Oh, I was in that uh, circular bit of a building where the, the gunpowder was kept. I put one rem in the doorway. As soon as I'd stepped away from it, it went off, and I put one up high up on the wall. There's no electricals here. Yeah. That rem's been going crazy. But the first time it went off on the wall, it felt like somebody came in to... To join you. To join me. Um, okay. But I have, I've heard voices. Um, when I left you just now, it sounded like somebody dropped pallets. It was such a loud clatter, I shouted you, I thought you'd no. drop something. Not me. But it's, uh, it's a weird place, funny vibe here. Yeah, so it's weird, so yeah. what's going on? I mean, right now we're you here. You just feel isolated anyway, don't you? You do feel isolated. Yeah. We're by this lift now, the lift. Yeah? And it feels safer here. I think it's safety because we're together. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> the hell? It was a flash of light just down there. I just heard voices again. Yeah. And you know what? You can't see a thing. No. no. I mean, even the torch beam's not penetrating right. the darkness no. at all. It's just complete a mass yeah. of mist. Okay, so okay. we're going to do this little drill here. Little drop experiment now, see how deep it is. You ready? Yep. Wow, I didn't even hear that. <laughs> that did not hit the bottom. That's not good. That's deep. That's, That's not deep. on that vent, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Let's try this. If there's anybody down there... Whoa, whoa, somebody was behind you. No! I just saw somebody behind you. Serious? pointing the camera. I hope I got it, but there was somebody behind you. No way. What yeah. did they look like, Paul? Just a, a silhouette of a figure. Seriously? I don't know if it was male or female, but there was somebody there. Shine a light. Right in front of that door, there was somebody stood there. I had the camera pointing there, so I'm hoping I got it. Let's go over. Come on. I have just got the chills. I do not believe this. Stood right behind. Right the here. Out here. Maybe it was a worker that works here. I don't know. I, I, I couldn't tell you what it was, male or female. It was just a silhouette of a figure. Well, as soon as we threw the coin down that shaft. No, the coin, the stone. Yeah. Oh, Somebody, cold. maybe you're disapproving. I don't know. It's colder here, though. Yeah, it's ice cold. Yeah. Like, freezing cold. Oh, jeepers. Is anybody here? Not back. Did you hear that get thrown at us then? I didn't know because yeah. I, I just saw someone yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, I was pointing over there and someone got oh, thrown. Oh, Jesus. She is getting really quite freaky. Did you just, did we throw that down that shaft and it hit you? <laughs> did you hear that? What? No, I didn't. You made me jump though. <laughs> I am on pins here. There's something going on. Yeah, it just feels like being surrounded. Another one of those instances where you don't know where to stand to feel safe. Is anybody around here?
Are you throwing objects at us? Which one again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one out of focus. Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That Horses. just calmed it down. You just took the situation <laughs> and made it easier. Okay, let's go back to the chapel. I feel when we go near here, boom, it happens. Let's just call out again. Yeah. Is there a, a woman up here? Perhaps one of the widows of a miner that died? Did you put a curse here? Whistles everywhere. There is literally whistles going just like that. Let's get the ears sounded. Like a dog or something. Yeah. Let's get the laser. Okay. And point it. Where should we do it? You know, I was going to say point it in there. Right. But I'm thinking by that doorway you saw. That's what I was thinking. Somebody maybe. just. Is it? Yeah. Whoa, somebody just tapped on here, Paul. Really? And pushed my leg at the same time. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I felt like it, this, like, dish, and then boom, into my leg. There was something, something happened. I said, let's set this up and point the, the laser over there. And then it all kicked off. It looks like the camera's blurred, but it's actually fog. Yeah. yeah just uh, see where we can place this on the... Place it on. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to say? Um, Place it on there. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm going to turn my torch off for this. Let's see if we can get the full effect. Okay. If there's anybody here that showed themselves on the camera behind me, Walk towards us. Walk in front, front of these lights on the floor, on the ground, coming from here. Show yourself to us. Whoa! Happened here then, Paul. I told you. Did. Somebody touched my leg a minute ago, and that happened. And then, boom, from there. Was that you? Please come forward and show yourself to us. Come on. What's that on the floor? What? Behind you. Where? It's like a mist on the floor. I know there's a mist, but this is a low. It was there on your left. I feel like another one of those distracting jobs. So it's going weird, Paul. Yeah. Did you do that then? Did you do that then, Paul? Seriously? Did you feel it? Did you feel it? No. Did you feel anything? No. No. I was pointing the camera down there and then boom, straight on there. It's, it's getting yeah, intense. It is. It is getting intense. I just want to see somebody walk through that beam. I do. Yeah. I'll turn the torch off as well and then bang, all these noises are happening. Are there any miners that are ready to step onto the lift and go down? Oh, let's do it. Let's stand on the lift. Into the shaft.
take us down. Paul and I are ready to go down into the mine. Take us down. Push this mine. Take us down. We want to go down. If there's a fire down there, we're coming down. Okay. Uh, this is my nose. Behind you again. I heard that. I heard the complete noise of that. No way. Oh, you okay, Paul? Yeah, I just felt like I was being pulled back. Just stepping off Step here, back a little bit, Paul. Feel... <coughs> felt like someone was trying to get me off there. Oh, man, Paul. You all right? Yeah, do you know what it is? <sighs> My throat is drying. It's like drying off. Smoke. Smoke, isn't yeah. it? See, I feel like I've smoked a thousand cigarettes. Mm -hmm. You're inhaling smoke from a yeah. mine fire. It can't be this. Right, possibly. This stuff outside. No. No, it's, uh, it's too moist for that. It won't be drying your throat out. No. And then it was somebody just walking past there. Did you hear that? I did. The hell is going on here? I don't know, but... Is that getting uh, weaker to you? That is getting weaker. That is not your ordinary sort of... Um, the, the drain in it. Like, yeah. that's literally, literally nearly gone. That's, like, super drained. That's not your normal kind of pen light laser. No, this is a supercharged... Heavy-duty job. Heavy-duty job, yeah. And very strong batteries in that. And it's last gone. For it's near enough gone, Paul. An hour, it has. You can see it. Yeah. Fading. It's gone. So is that battery drain? Are you going to do something with the energy that you're taking from that? God, it just feels so... Whoa! Whoa! What the hell was that? What the hell? That was my walkie-talkie. We are stood together, Paul. Yes. We're stood together. <laughs> like, oh, no way. Okay, we're, was, uh... we're stood together and the walkie has just decided to go off in my pocket. That's weird. And I didn't even touch mine. Look, there it is. How weird. <laughs> and then oh, boom. Man, a tap in there. Yeah. Okay. I think it's time to get out of here, Paul. What do you think? I want to do it in there. You want to do in there? Yeah, let's, let's do go five in there. Minutes in there. Let's go in there and let's see before we go anywhere. Let's see what's going on in there. Yeah. We've actually decided to get the hell out of here because we were going to go and just check out the inner of the inside of the uh, engine. But oh, this is saying check card. Check card. Yeah. That's fine. Everything's starting to mess not, up. Yeah. Not recording. Yeah, don't worry about it. Everything's starting yeah, to mess up. Try it, try it again. See, the cameras are starting to mess up. Check card. Check card. That's oh, fine. Yeah. Um, so we're down. We're down yeah. to one camera. Stuff's going Watch weird. Watch your step, mate. Watch your step, mate. Yeah. And uh, it's starting to remind us of Pendle, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Big time. And we were just... We Ooh. threw another stone off camera um, just down that well. And as soon as we did, we heard this goat sound. Goat there was a howl. And a howl. Ooh. And a cackle of witches. Yeah. Like, ah! Um, which always happens when you switch the cameras off, doesn't it? But the thing is, we feel a bit strange anyway. And... Uh, as soon as we heard the goat and the witches, it's time to pack up and just get out quick. Yeah, it's too dangerous. We so, uh, can take a hint, this is the last place we want to get stranded because it's miles from anywhere. And, uh, it's black. It's black, especially when you get those noises. It only means one thing. Trouble. It's a good hour. 